Hi everyone, Father Carl here. This weekend, in the Gospel of John, we hear about one of the most loved images of Jesus as he refers to himself as the Good Shepherd. And so I'm happy to be able to do a reflection on this Sunday's Gospel and that image of Jesus as our Good Shepherd. What messengers has God sent to you lately? Recently, I woke up one morning, and in my prayer, I said, God, could you send me a little sign of encouragement? Because sometimes I wonder, where are you in all the difficulties of life? Do you care? You see, I was feeling anxious about all the concerns around racism these days, what's happening in our country. Our moral compass seems to be spinning out of control. Folks are dealing still with the pandemic and burnout. Others are complaining about the vaccine, that this is all made up, it's not real. And so feeling a bit anxious myself, I woke up that morning and in my prayer, I asked God for some sign of encouragement. And that's when my cell phone beeped, alerting me to the fact that I had a text message. A cousin of mine sent me a picture taken earlier that morning while out walking. And in the picture, the sun is coming up over a darkened house. The sky is a bit dark itself, a bluish kind of gray. But across the sky were these beautiful pink clouds and they were formed perfectly in the image of a cross. I have that very picture with me here this morning so that you can see it. It's very beautiful, it was very inspiring, but most importantly was the message that my cousin sent along with the picture. She said, I saw this and I thought of you this morning. And she texted, start your day off seeing God's presence with a great reminder, God is always at your side. It was the perfect message that came at just the right time. And so I'd ask you today to consider what messengers has God sent you recently and with what messages? You see, one of the things I think the scriptures show us is that God is consistent and God still uses all manner of people to be messengers just as God used a diverse cast of characters to get people's attention in biblical times. Back then, when we think about it, God used children like Samuel, refugees like Naomi and Ruth, educated scholars from other lands, the Magi, loudmouth folks who appeared mentally unstable, John the Baptist, and then there was the bold Mary who anointed Jesus' feet with costly nard to call people's attention to something that was very important in Jesus and in his life and what was about to happen. So you see, God sends us messengers because God has compassion on us. The messengers are meant to help us see that. My cousin that particular morning was one such messenger when she texted me that beautiful picture and her thoughtful, inspiring words, she had no idea how much that message would mean to me that particular morning. In these past few weeks, we've been reflecting on our Lord's resurrection. In this Easter season, we hear from many New Testament voices, but we hear today from a new voice from a little book in the back of the Bible titled 1 John. And the writer of First John had walked with the Lord, he had seen the Lord, he had heard his words, he touched him. Now, years later, he gives us good words, encouraging words, inviting us to entrust our lives to this one who lived and died and rose again. Our gospel lesson teaches, Jesus is the good shepherd. It's one of the most comforting and loving images in the scriptures. Jesus is the good shepherd in whose care we can find healing and hope 
in God's love and care for us. God showed love by sending God's only Son into the world. God's very being of love comes to us in human form. Jesus is the God revealer. And so Jesus, the Good Shepherd, the love of God, continues to become flesh, showing care for the world, showing care for us and the messengers all around us. I go back to that message my cousin sent me on a day when I needed it most. It appeared. You see, in this way, we are reminded our God is a God who can be trusted, a God who cares for us, a God who is at our side, not just when we do the right things, but even when we mess up as well. Jesus is our Good Shepherd, and Jesus as a shepherd is a great sign, a great image of the love of our God. And that love is non-negotiable. That's really good news. And that's the beauty and the good news of the gospel today. And so friends, I'd ask you to ask Jesus as our good shepherd to open our minds and our eyes and our ears to recognize the messengers and the messages God is sending with compassion today for you.